Which cheap and mass-produced item is stupendously well-engineered? Not exactly cheap, but I'm impressed that I can have a ceiling fan run on high for 15 years straight and not have it explode on me. I seriously startled myself when I realized the only time my ceiling fan had been off since I moved in was when the power went out. The lighter. Spontaneously ignite fire basically whenever you want. Toilets. They use nothing more than gravity to reliably flush. Doesn't use power at all. And if you've ever used a poorly engineered toilet, you really learn to appreciate the well-engineered ones. The transistor. I remember how amazed we were in 1985 to see a chip with 68,000 transistors. Now they're at 68 billion. Ball bearings. The humble corrugated cardboard box. It's lightweight, strong, splash resistant, somewhat padded, doesn't break down in heat, cold, scratch resistant, recyclable, biodegradable and able to be assembled cheaply into any size. The basic design has existed for over 150 years. The retail shipping industry runs on cardboard boxes. And their factories are way more interesting than the slide factory or the toy factory. The aluminium beverage can, link. To expand upon this, Guinness wanted to sell their beer in cans but didn't want to sacrifice the iconic head on their beer. Their solution was a device called a widget. It's a small sphere filled with nitrogen with a tiny hole in it. Under pressure the nitrogen stays inside the ball. When the can is opened and the pressure drops the nitrogen escapes, agitates the beer, and creates just the right amount of head. The zipper. It's a very cheap mechanism that secures objects in a very neat fashion. No wonder it's used in most objects that need to be opened and closed such as luggage and jackets. This one is one underrated invention. The original manufacturer YKK keeps such a secret around the process that they even build themselves the production equipment. LEDs. Cheap diodes. Even colors. Okay, I dislike the blue ones but tint them and you get warm white. Blue LEDs are a Nobel Prize winning invention for how revolutionary they have been in lighting. The ballpoint pen, clearly. Give credit to the inventor, Laszlo Biro. He escaped the Nazis, invented the pen, then got ripped off and never made money. Batteries are marvels of engineering packed tightly into a minuscule canister. Even AA batteries are incredibly sophisticated internally. I saw a video of someone take apart a lithium energizer battery the other day, and it looks like cotton balls and folded foil just all jammed together. Like someone figured out how to harness so much energy into that thing? Edit. This is my most popular comment. It's me admitting that I can barely tie my shoes, and here are people just casually throwing atoms together to make my car go zoom. Glass bottles. And hash X200B. Let's melt this rock into a clear, brittle material and turn it into what? Windows? Decorations? Screens? No, we're making pressure vessels, baby. The gods must be crazy. Quartz movement clocks. You can literally pick one up for two pounds and fifty pence here. Link. I'm a certified master watchmaker. I restore 18th and 19th century pocket watches. Have always appreciated the quartz movement despite the fact that it wiped out 99% of the watchmaking jobs. If you need a watch for accuracy, get a quartz movement. It'll be more accurate than a $10,000 mechanical movement. Road reflectors, countless lives saved. Big pens and lighters. Matches. Screws, can you imagine what would happen if all the screws suddenly disappeared from world? Everything would fall apart. We would be screwed. Thank you for watching. We upload new videos every day, so be sure to come back for more fun. Please consider liking and subscribing if you enjoyed the video.